endpoint just to the status so that you can say, right, well, if I want to just update the uh, status of this particular ticket to closed, that's all I want to do. Here's how I do it. I just make a something text plain um, and just put closed to that particular thing. Um, I'm not trying that. And this is one actually that I came across um, just a few weeks ago, um, where somebody was actually wanting to make this part of the hashtag media type itself. That I have a current, my object is currently sitting in this particular, is in a particular state, but I want to be able to provide the links to move on to where I want to go next. So these are almost like queues. And the way that it works is that you have a kind of a queue, or you have a queue for moving to the open state and a queue for moving to the closed state, and you just post, or you can probably post, um, the URI lists for the objects that you want to move on to that state. So it kind of works like, a, if you're familiar with, kind of, with a queuing system, you put those objects on and at some point in the future it will move on to a different state after that. I thought that was quite an interesting way of doing it because you can only provide the endpoints for the states that are valid. So if, if close is your only option, you just have that one closed link. So really my kind of motivation for actually standing up here and babbling on at you all for about it for five minutes um, is really just to kind of, if not now but perhaps later, find out what other people do. Because I find this quite interesting and I can solve it a different way every time I come across this issue. And, um, yeah, this just seems to be uh, it just seems to be something that keeps on coming up. So one of the ones that you did mention I'm wondering is it valid to change it to a completely different resource? Like it actually becomes a new resource. The example I have in my domain is a cart becomes a transaction once yeah. you process it. And yeah. you run into the, is that a similar thing of what you're describing? Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah. So so if um, if if your if it becomes a different resource every time you change state, then yeah, this I think this works quite well for that because you can you can push that resource somewhere and it can return a new resource of a different type, um, and you just keep moving on from there until eventually you get to an endpoint, and then that's that object in a kind of stable place. But it's not really. Is it really changing the resource, or is it returning a different resource? Um, you could probably look at it in both ways. Actually, you could probably yeah. I mean, it, it could. You could it could be the same resource that's returned, and if it has the same URI associated with it when it comes back, yeah. then you know it's obviously the same thing. So if I issue it again against that, it doesn't really matter when I issue it again, it'll still come back at the same thing. Um, if it changes, if like the data changes underneath it, then um, yeah, you can, you can look at it either way. That's it. So if people have any other comments or anything like that, it would be, be good to hear this. something that's coming up for me. What does what your rel mean? What does it point to if you go there? Nothing. It's just a name space. It doesn't mean anything? Yeah. So really... I could just put so it right there. Oh, and your type doesn't... So where would they get the semantics for the particular href and what it means? I mean, if they were looking at this, they said, what does that link do? Where Which would one? they get that information? Like, if you, if you got this payload, yeah, if you saw that that link in there and you said, I want to know what that's going to do for me when I do it, when I execute that. Yeah, it would be part of my hypermedia definition, like just keep a readable thing. Um, and I would just include some um, instructions to say, if I want to move on to a different state, and this is what I have to do, you know, I use these, um, I just look up the, the link with that particular realm. I don't use the interrupt associated with it and give it that, that, that being type. Oh, you get okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Kevin made a good comment earlier about uh, you know we do it on the web and it's okay, but all of a sudden in the web browser, just all of a sudden we're the APIs, all of a sudden that's not accessible. Yeah. Um, thinking, you know, you've got a resource here, you want to change a value in it. Yeah. We have Earl and COVID. Forms which allow key value pairs, host to the resource yep. with status equals. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that was that, and that was my first solution, and that's a really simple way of doing it. 
Uh, and you can just kick that out. If it's in a valid state change, you can just say, no, sorry, valid state change, try again. Um, but I think the point is that there's like several ways to skin this particular cat. So 